Okay, everyone. I made my husband pizza today, and I have a little bit of dough left, so I'm going to make him a little dessert out of the dough that I have left. So we're starting off with two apples, and to this we're going to put some vegan butter. We're not going to put a lot now because we're going to put some right on the dough. There we go. And we're going to add some maple. Maybe a little more. Can never get enough maple, right guys? And we're going to cook this down with a little bit of cinnamon. Oop, there we go. We're going to put some cinnamon. And we're going to cook them down till they're nice and tender. We're going to add some salt to that. Apples are great when they have a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of saltiness to it. Just a little extra, either margarine or vegan butter. And we're going to put this on the stove and we're going to get them nice and tender. I'm just going to put a little sprinkle of cardamom because we love cardamom with apples. There we go. Tiny pinch of clove. And onto the burner they go. So we're going to cook these down till they're nice and tender and we're going to be able to put that in our dough. Now I have a little bit of uh, cinnamon and sugar that I usually throw my donuts in. Instead of wasting the sugar, I am going to also put some of this in between our, our mixture. Now, if you add just a little bit of water, they're going to cook up really fast and they're going to get nice and tender for you. Just a little bit of water, you don't need that much. I'm going to put a lid on them. That'll help speed up the process. Meanwhile, we have our dough that I'm going to flour my counter. And I'm going to use only half of this dough. Hopefully that should be enough for him. There we go. And we're going to stretch it out like we're making pizza. If you want, you could also use uh, a rolling pin for this. There we go. I know when he comes home, he's going to be really happy. He's off to see his mom in the hospital. She's not doing good, so I think this is going to make him happy. There we go. So who says that pizza dough is just for pizza, right? I'm going to throw just a couple of raisins, so maybe I'll wait till I put it on my, on my dough. So the thinner you make this, the better it is. Okay, 
We're going to spread a little bit of vegan butter on this. Perfect. And because my sugar has um, cinnamon in it, I'm going to use just my sugar and cinnamon. And this is a go great way to recycle some of the sugars that you have when you make either pancake, uh, sorry, when you're making little donut bites. There we go. And we're going to put some chocolate bits on there. just want to show you how they're they come together really fast if you add a little bit of water there we go and to this we're going to add some raisins Look at the size of these raisins. Now, look at my chocolate bar, my little chocolate, and look at that raisin. Crazy, right? Yeah, that should be good. We're going to let this cool off and then we're going to add our beautiful apples on top. I'm going to add just a little extra fattening stuff. Now you don't have to if you don't want to. If you want to go a little less fattening you could also do that. My husband does not care when it comes to desserts. He is a dessert fanatic. He loves his sweets. And since I had this leftover dough, I figured why not make him some, right? Oop. So that's it. I'm gonna wait for the uh, I'm gonna wait for the apples to to cool off, and then we're gonna put them on top. I will put some chocolate cacao. Yum, yum, yum. And there's our apples.
Now you have the option of rolling it or you have the option of just flipping this over. There we go. I'm just going to quickly. Sorry, put some flour. There we go. I'm going to put this right on top. There we go. And I'm going to get myself a tray to put this on. There we go. And to do silly silly me there we go that went crazy on me okay some extra sugar some cinnamon and this is going to go into a 400 degree oven and there you go that's how easy Simple, simple, simple. You can make a nice little dessert with just a little bit of pizza dough. So I'm gonna put this in the oven and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. bread bites to snack on. Poke raisin. These are fun little bites for your kids or for whoever. There you go. Little raisin bites. There we go.
There you go. Leftover pizza dough, guys. get the bottom of my tray dirty I'll have sugar burning in my oven here it is and who says dessert has to be complicated right guys how simple is this Okay, into the oven it goes. And we'll be back and I'm going to show you what it looks like when they're done. Okay, we're going to prepare just a little bit of icing sugar. We're not going to put a lot. We just want to make like a little drizzle. Oop, I am so messy today. I am really, really messy. Whoop. Okay, to this we're going to need some vanilla and we're going to use a little bit of milk. We're going to use a little bit of almond milk. Okay, we're going to make a simple, simple icing. We're not going to put a lot on top. We're going to add some vanilla. Now, if you really want to get fancy, you could also add some liquor if you're doing it for your husband. But I'm going to leave it out. You need very little, remember that. If you put too much, you're going to have a mess. A little bit of milk, a little bit of vanilla. I wish I could taste all of this because you know what I'm doing in the middle of all of this, right? I'm doing a juice fast. A little extra sugar. So we had them in the oven for 25 minutes, but you have to uh, also make sure that, you know, your oven, that you're not going to burn them. Uh, every oven is different, so you really have to, you really have to check. I should have put more sugar. Yeah, nice and thick. You see that? You want it nice and thick. Because you want to just make little drizzles on top. You don't want to just encase them in icing sugar. Just like a little drizzle on top. A little extra sugar. And you see how thick that's getting? Now this is how I do it. But if you really want to make sure that you get the correct measurement. Um, I'll check for you because right now I just make it by eye so I can't tell you exactly I could only do it by you see how thick that is by eye so if you want to uh, see how that's thick if you want to get the right measurements I'll put a link for you or I'll find out what the correct measurement is for your icing that's going to be beautiful. There we go. See? That is perfect. A little bit of vanilla, a little bit of milk, and that's what you have. Perfect. I'm going to put that aside. Ooh, look at them underneath. Do you see the awesomeness that we have here? Maybe I'll lay them down on the side here. There we go. Oh, lost my raisin. Yeah, that should be good. I'll slowly slide this over. And we're going to let this cool off. There we go. 
By the way, guys, I wash these and I reuse them because I know I can get a lot more life out of these. So don't just be throwing them away. If you can manage to use them again and again, use them as often as you can before you do put them into compost. So we're just going to let this cool off a bit and then we're going to drizzle some of that delicious, delicious icing on top. And we have some salt because after we drizzle the icing sugar, we're going to sprinkle a little bit of pink salt on top just for that sweet and salty taste. See how thick that is? That's what you want. You want a very thick, thick icing that you can just simply drizzle on top. See? Like this. And there you go guys, how simple was this dessert and how delicious it's going to be. My husband's going to feast on this, I'm sure he's going to eat half of this and more tonight because my husband loves this sweet. So thank you for watching guys and I'm going to tell you, guess what, I'll see you in my next video. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Ross and Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.